what's up my beautiful entrepreneurs freebies are a great way to test out new products or add a little bit of more flair to a scent profile that you've already created one freebie that i love to add on to my products is body lotion bars now these are a great way to test out new product and i use it as a way to add to any scent profile that i've created i'm going to share with you two formulas that you can add into your collection that are super inexpensive and it's for ingredients that you already have in your collection Collection. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. Now, I am planning on doing a Q&A at some point this year and I kind of wanted to get your idea about that, how you guys felt about me doing a Q&A, a live Q&A here on YouTube and so you can ask any questions that you may have about formulating, any business tips. I really want to be able to start creating a community here where we can ask each other questions and I want to make the live Q&A to be something that I do monthly. So let me know how you guys feel about that. If you're down for a Q&A, leave me a heart down below and also let me know any ideas that you have when it comes to that Q&A. Now, the first formula that I have is gonna be a lot simpler. It's just gonna be a really good base to start out with if you're a little uneasy about making the body butter bars. Now, this is gonna be more so of um, butters and oils and this is gonna be a four ingredient body butter bar. So you're gonna have cocoa butter, um, olive oil, and beeswax, and then you're also gonna add in vitamin E oil. Now vitamin E oil is really important, you guys, because you need to have it in order to avoid your products going rancid, the oils going rancid. So make sure you add vitamin E oil. Now with the cocoa butter, it's a really great structure for your body butter uh, bars because cocoa butter is solid, rock solid at room temperature. It's not going to move, but it's really great on your skin. It easily soothes into your skin, even though it is like a rock hard at room temperature. It's a great way to start out your body butter bars. One of the trickiest part um, to making the body butter bars is going to be the combination of your solid butters and your liquid oils. So you wanna make sure that you have the right combination of each. So the cocoa butter, olive oil, and beeswax will kind of give you the perfect combination to have a body butter bar that is a solid but a really great moisturizer. Now I'll have the exact uh, measurements for this particular recipe down below so you'll be able to check that out and test out this formula yourself. Now when it comes to the butters that you use, I'm using cocoa butter again because it has more structure and will really hold up the body butter overall. But if you wanted to use like shea butter or if you want to use mango butter or um, avocado butter, those are really great options but you really want to make sure that you're testing it out properly so that it will still have that same structure you're looking for. So you can use that in combination with the cocoa butter, um, but also you would have to uh, level up the beeswax in the formula as well in order for it to have that same structure. So just be mindful of what butters you're using because again, you have softer butters and harder butters. A great alternative to cocoa butter would be cocoon butter as it is also really hard at room temperature. It's rock solid, so it would really be a nice structure for the overall body butter bar. Now what really holds the formula together is the beeswax because it helps to kind of marry the um, solid butter and the liquid oil together um, in order to keep it balanced so it's not too soft and it's not too hard and it's, it has such a high melting point. Now if you don't want to use beeswax, you can also use calendula wax which is actually going to be a vegan option so if that's important to you then I, you can swap that out and you'll still get the same um, outcome that you're looking for. What I really love about these bars is that they are really inexpensive to make. They're a great value add onto your products because it's something that people are gonna, you know, get unexpectedly and it'll add, you know, a nice flair onto your products and kind of um, show like that you are making up things for like new seasons and everything that's coming up. So what I usually like to do is create some that are for the fall season. So that's why I have like pumpkin, apple, and I add like little leaves in there as well and then for the winter time you can add in snowflakes or snowmen and like really cute designs and you can change the colors and everything like that so it's a really great way to um, show some seasonality throughout your products but then to also test some new, new ones out because these are really tiny they're only 0.5 
Okay, so now let's get into the elevated recipe that I have created for the body butter lotion. Now this one is great because it feels great on your skin and this is a really good option if you want just a more elevated recipe. And I'll have the full recipe with the uh, ingredients and measurements down below. So this one's gonna have shea butter, cocoa butter, olive oil, fractionated coconut oil, beeswax, and BTMS 25. Now we'll explain BTMS 25 a little bit later because this is a really great ingredient when it comes to body butters and this body butter lotion. With the lotion bar, you also are going to add in arrowroot powder or cornstarch or kaolin clay to help with the greasiness factor of the body lotion. And you're also going to need preservatives to add into the lotion as well, so that's also going to be really important. With the body bar, the body butter bar, you're not going to need a preservative with that, but that's why the vitamin E oil is so essential in that formula. Now, BTMS 25 is an amazing ingredient and I love to add it into my body butters and body butter bars because it's an emollient and it's a hair conditioning emollient actually. And what when you think about soft skin, you think about soft hair as well. And we have hair all over our body. So when you're adding in the BTMS 25, it actually adds a conditioning element to your body butter, which helps to condition the hair on your body, which also makes the hair on your skin softer and making your skin softer as well. Also with the BTMS 25, it actually helps with getting rid of, rid of oiliness as well. So you can add that in to help with the greasiness of the body butter lotion. And it's also a great tip to add into your body butter um, in general because it will help with the oiliness if you're experiencing that as well. So just another tip to add in to your testing process of your body butters. Now a big factor when making these body butter bars is going to to be at the greasiness that an oiliness that can sometimes come with the lotion bar and the body butter bar now if you're witnessing a lot of oiliness um, I would say to add in the air root powder you can add that into both formulas you can add or you know take away when it comes to the um, air root powder or the cornstarch because that will really help with the oiliness now another factor for the oiliness can be the butters that you are choosing now cocoa butter or cocoon butter those are harder butters and they're solid at room temperature so they're not fast absorbing uh, oils and butters so if you're using a shea butter or a mango butter those are easily absorbing so they're not as oily or greasy so I would say to take out some of the cocoon butter or the cocoa butter in order to help you know alleviate the oiliness and then also adding in the um, air root powder or some type of starch is going to also help to take away that oiliness as well so when it comes to the, these recipes a lot of times it's trial and error to see what it is that you like because I do find that oiliness or greasiness can be subjective some people may not see what I see as oily or what you see as oily may not be oily to me so you really want to test it out and try these out and these are really inexpensive and these are already ingredients that you have so you can easily test these out you're using such small amounts and they're small little bars so you can really test out different formulas and see what it is that you like and how you want your bars to come out but these are really great options to add in as freebies for your products and in your packaging they're really cute they're festive and you can you know use it for different seasons they have really cute flower ones if you wanted to do that for the springtime and the summertime so they're just really great add-ons um, to to your products uh, when you are shipping them out. So I really hope that you try out uh, both of these formulas really to see which one that you like uh, better. Switch out some of the butters, switch out some of the oils and see what comes out and what's the best option to you. Uh, since you have to like this product when you put it out, right? You have to be able to sell it and um, be happy with what you are putting out. Now you have to share with me down below if you try either one of these formulas because I want to know how it works out for you and how you use it in your business so we can learn from each other on how we can really create uh, good freebies and level up our business. Now, a really big thing about formulating a lot of times is greasiness in our overall product. If that's something that you're struggling with, be sure to click on this video here where I discuss four levels of getting rid of greasiness out of your products and I'll catch you in the next one.